So guys, this is the just got these flowers for her birthday. We gifted her and now we are going to Olesereni for dinner. So now we are heading this week is giving us stress. We are late. We are running late. Open door. Run down. And we are going. So here is our Uber. Guys, I'm gonna leave audio recordings of my previous Uber when I was like my Uber, my personal Uber, when I was coming to my sister on the next clip, and then I'll explain later. Because they are tired of their men because they are high paying. You know, when I 
woman has a high paying job yeah. and now looks for even more someone else but they're not wrong for, for you because you. it goes with their personalities so it, yeah. just for you to find someone who you match with but you know me i've been married i've been married twice right. divorced twice mm-hmm. the most thing i've ever i've ever been happy in my life mm. was when i was married there's nothing as good as a good marriage really yes That's it's nice. the best thing there's nothing good and i'm, I'm not saying come we stay i'm saying married married yeah. married kapsa umeona umeenda kotini it's your made a commitment there's nothing better wow. than that 
so what does a man want? God, what, what a man wants? Hmm. Imagine it's so simple. Hmm. Just, just someone who maybe you just keep God and listen to Him mm -hmm. and give Him sex at least once a week. He is good to go. Okay, so peace and <laughs> sex. And you find that he had sex, a lot of sex. <laughs> once a, even once a month. You would stray. They are friends. No, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, he did something with money and she's not happy, so she refuses sex for months. Then we know we need to go to office, and then the na kiti yake ko baba, and then those two young girls come and start talking to him because they see him take care of money. We can't do it because they're too so. So guys, we are in Acacia Restaurant in Mara. We are there. We are having a choma buffet. A choma buffet includes. Um, let me see. A choma buffet includes. It's every Saturday, and it's five thousand five hundred per person. Complimentary with white cup crepes, and it's in Acacia. It's usually around five to ten p.m. Kids. Five years and below are usually free, and six to ten years are usually te fifty percent off. So we are here to celebrate my sister's birthday, my elder sister, and she doesn't like being on camera. She's a very private person, so you won't see her in this video. The others are also my sister, my nephews and nieces, but my sister is a very private person, and I tend to respect people's privacy. The choma is about like grilled uh, seafood and uh, meat, but it's exclusive of drinks. But everything else you eat as much as you want. Guys, the food was delicious, but in some way, I don't know, like when I see a lot of food, I tend to be so full quick. So I didn't like eat the way I had prepared to eat this food to the max, but actually, what I really liked so much, it was the sushi. Like the sushi was so good. Sushi was also in, included in the menu and everything from food, fruits, dessert, main courses. Expect for the drinks. The drinks you have to pay them separately. Mm -hmm. Top three things we were considering when choosing a fine dining venue in Nairobi. Here is it, location, atmosphere and decor. So the um uh, acacia restaurant it has a very spectacular views it's one of the best restaurants to take a date to in nairobi i know people are always looking for a perfect date spot it is better to get the right ambience food service and it can be really difficult to find a place that ticks all of those boxes and has a low low wait time if you're looking for a place that can be romantic dinner destination or want to catch up with friends i suggest this is the place to go the service was really really impeccable impeccable <laughs> yeah and it's also it's located in mombasa road ar uh, around yeah just see it on your google map or i'll leave a google location pin on the description down below we wanted to treat ourselves for this birthday celebration of my sister and uh, yeah the last few years have been a rise in fine dining experiences across the world and nairobi didn't is nairobi has not been left behind i am always like reviewing restaurants so always check my videos nairobi places to eat and you'll always find me reviewing them is it me? Me, 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 you Prawns. Any prawns? Any chicken? I can do it, your prawns. For us, fine dining means enjoying an extravagant meal at a restaurant where every day has been thought of from decor and everything. Fine dining is just not about taste, about also about feeling like you're indulging in something luxurious. It makes you feel spatial and upscale dining experience. I'm so full.
The Acacia is open 24-7 and has three major meal choices of many different global cuisines. How can I forget the spectacular views of Nairobi National Park? Yes, so you can spot an elephant or a lion while you're eating at the balcony. Damn, this is good. This is very nice. Okay, so my outfit is from Laura Dart. Oh my god, you know a toilet is booty when they have like sanitary everywhere, even like toilet seat sanitizer. That's so thoughtful. This is nice. Hey, baby. So the bill came, it was like twenty seven thousand, that's like two seventy dollars. Yeah, and of course the kid didn't pay, Ella didn't pay because she's under five, but so lunch she's twelve, so she you are six. That's a bill for total people of six. Ella was so excited and she was dancing for us. Actually, they have like someone playing the piano. That's actually someone playing the piano. I don't want to be copyrighted. That's why I've muted it. But Ella was dancing and she was like, it's it's my, she calls uh, my sister mom Kubwa because like, yeah, it's something in Kenya like, uh, aunties are called Pam Kubwa, Mam Dogo, like that. And that's it. We are heading out now. At least this round, this Uber driver was not chatty. She, he was like quiet, but not quite in a bad way. Guys, comment down below. Do you like when Uber drivers talk a lot or they're just quiet? I'll actually tip someone who is quiet because they don't like conversing with strangers, honestly. But the earlier recording, audio recording when I started this video, it was a conversation between me and my Uber driver from my home to my sister's home. That's why I like I overlay it with uh, other Uber driver because I was recording him secretly. Actually, the conversation was so long. It's just because I decided, okay, let me record this now because he was talking. He was chatty, chatty. From the moment he picked me up from my home to the moment the Uber ride ended, and then he was like, please, madam, don't take it wrongly. I just like to talk. And I was like, you got, don't know you're going to be featured in my next video. So actually the Uber driver on that when I met that is not him. It's another one. Yes, you're going swimming. Where are we going, Ella? I go swimming. Mm. Ah. Wow, Ella is swimming, guys. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>